What's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to show you how to put a cat skid steer into float mode. So basically the bucket will just float and this works perfect for grading. Um, as you can see right here, it was just loading up this uh, pipe, went to go fetch it and uh, messed up the driveway here. And I actually just regraded the whole thing. But um, it's, it's really simple to put it into float mode, but if you've never done it before, it can be a little bit uh, tricky if you don't have anybody to explain to you how to do it. And uh, even on some of Kat's official videos, I saw that they really didn't do a very good job of explaining to people exactly how to get it into float mode because like i said it's not complicated if you got somebody to show you but if you've never done it before this video will help you out a lot so we'll go ahead and uh, start up the machine here and just let me get turned around real quick and basically what we're gonna do is just fix these tracks that i've made from turning around and that's kind of a good little example to show you guys how to put it into float mode. So we'll just start right up here. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come up here to this switch and this will be the same on any cat skid steer, um, whether it's uh, any of the D series, you know, this is a 239D, but 239D, 259D, uh, 289D, so on and so forth, and even any of the ones that uh, have, you know, tires instead of tracks, it's all the same. So anyway, you come up here, you hit this button. It's on the left side. Hit that button, then you come down here to your bucket, and we're gonna go ahead and put it level and then we're going to push it all the way forward and then we're going to press the trigger button now it's in float mode i don't know if you guys heard that engage or not but as you can see with the front of my bucket now it's just floating um, to grade this stuff out easier and i have my idle all the way turned down so i'm going super slow because i'm preoccupied with uh, talking and videoing this. So if you can see my bucket moving up and down, then to take it out of float mode, you just lift it up or do any motion on the bucket. Now it's out of float mode. And you can leave that, that uh, button pushed and then we'll come over here and fix some more of these tracks and I'll show you guys one more time. So we push it down where we want it and then we push it forward and hit this trigger button you can hear it then you just back up and let it float let it do its thing then to take it out just lift up on it Go all the way down, push all the way forward, and then hit the trigger button. And then you can see the bucket floating. Better pay attention to what I'm doing here. I'm trying to make a damn video, run into the back of something like an idiot. So I really hope that this video helped you guys. Oh, and um, check out some other videos on my channel if you want to know how to do some stuff on uh, heavy equipment. So, yeah, we fixed our tracks now, and the video is over. So please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Watch some more of our content. Let me know if this video helped you. Let me know if it didn't. Um, always love your guys' feedback, positive or negative. And uh, hit that thumbs up button, that like button. And until next time, guys, peace.